what's the worst that can happen today? I mean, you know, you, you think the debtor will, will attack me? Or will he call the police? If you have his number, you help us call now. We can talk right now. I'm Rishi Budrani and I'm about to take on some of the most stigmatised jobs around. If somebody wants to, you know, attack us, the camera can capture the evidence. Just don't tell mom. I make people pay. So the producer gave me this today. My assignment for this episode. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Look, I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm not a dead huh? But I don't before I could Is back you? out. Ready? Oh yeah. Come, let's go. Okay, come, coming boss. They've told me to wait here by the dustbin. I hope that's not my boss's way of telling me that I'm trash. These guys are the debt collectors from the Singapore Debt Collection Service, or SDCS for short. SDCS. In my head, this is what they do. Hey, you! Come here, come here. Hey, don't f that. Oh, money, pay money. Yeah. Oh. SDCS. Okay, we are here. Oh, you are the. Uh, he not stay here, but his father here. But watching them work, they seem a lot more civil. This feels like a very uh, regular afternoon procedure. Like it's almost like they are door to door salespeople and they're trying to sell you something. Because this is legal. We don't want to come back. I understand. I understand. Can you help me? Not answering. It looks like uh, there's some sort of conclusion that's reached. I'm going to try and find out what it is. Okay, uh. Thank you. Thank you. So what was going on actually? Just now my guys went up to the place, but the debtor is not around. This is Keegan Tan. Founder, CEO, and boss man of Singapore Debt Collection Service. He started the company in 2002 and has been leading his team of debt recovery specialists ever since. I'm a little surprised because I didn't see any of the regular uh, loan shark stuff, like no paint, red color. No, 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 definitely no. Because first of all, we are licensed debt collector in Singapore and we are not loan sharks. We act like a middleman to solve the matter. When people face difficulty getting back money they're owed, they enlist people like SDCS. We're going to talk to him nicely and try to get a debt from him. That's about it. These guys track down unresponsive debtors and negotiate a payment plan. We will gather all the supported documents from our clients and we will send our debt collector to their residence or to their uh, uh, office to demand for payment and negotiate. We have to talk to the family members to like, explain to them what is it all about. Then we uh, give them uh, maybe a few days time for them to get back to us. We don't use violence, we don't use variety. Do you think I can become a debt collector? We will train you. After all the training, you have to collect a debt yourself. Huh? By myself? You have to lead a team. Are you prepared for it? Oh, okay. I got backup. Okay. <laughs> Alone, I cannot run about. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, boss. See you tomorrow. Okay. I guess I'm going to become a debt collector. All right. So I'm here for my orientation with SDCS, and uh, I'm. I gotta say, I'm a little nervous about how this is gonna turn out. Let's check it out. Oh, hi, hi. Welcome to SDCS. Monster, monster. Giving me a crash course on collecting cash is General Manager Kenneth Tien. When the client first approaches you, what happens? What do you do? So we research, we see the documents, you know, maybe there's email correspondence, contract, like payment term, 30 days, the invoices, the amount and everything. Let me show you an example. Mm. This is a personal IOU. 
I owe you. Uh. That means people have written that I owe you yes, this much. So besides this, are there any other ways that people can prove that there are people? Who yes, definitely, of course. Messenger, hmm? WhatsApp. Bro, can I borrow the money from you? Bank transaction hmm? also. So that is one proof to show that I transferred money to your bank also. How do you decide like which are the cases that you don't take? Okay, for those illegal cases like soccer money, gambling money or even Arlong cases, all these we don't take. What's the next step? We will make a phone call. We will give them a letter of demand also and we will say that we are acting for who and whoever, this amount, our recovery specialist will visit after seven days. So that's what I'm signing up for, a recovery specialist. You can add the visit details. And like any good specialist, I first have to look the part. Because how you look can affect how the debt collection goes. These three items has have our logo, so the public will know who we are. Bro, what is the flashlight for? Okay, the flashlight is when nobody opens the door, we can check the water meter, electric meter, whether it's moving. This one very obvious, uh, it's a taser, right? It's a walkie-talkie. Oh, walkie <laughs> In case of emergency, it's very easy for us to know whether our guys are in danger. danger. Yes, because there's an SOS button here. This body cam is very important too in our operation. You can see everything very clearly, wide angle. So even when somebody wants to you know, attack us, the camera can capture the evidence. Stabilize. Ah, modeling a bit. Like this, when it's done. With my tech, everybody will know who I am. Okay, okay. Will I get one set of this if I go out in the field with you? Yes, you will, we will issue you one. Okay. Do you mind if uh, together with this, I add one accessory? Which is? My sunglasses. We have to be serious. What if I take out halfway through? Also no shades. Okay. Put on after we complete the job. No shades. With the look down, sans sunglasses, Kenneth wants to see if I have what it takes to be one of the guys. Yeah, maybe you can try talking to me like uh, I'm an adapter. Like you're, you're the adapter? Yes. Wow. You feel the test? I feel the test. <laughs> Take two. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes. I know you haven't had coffee yet. It's only uh, you feel the test. Nine. Take three. I owe you money, sir. Please, we got cameras. We've cameras got... or what? No need to get violent. Don't worry. You're not the first that come to my house. You're the fifth today. Okay, then let me bring my friend who's a bodybuilder. Bro, can you help me out. So, I will do the talking. He will do the action. <laughs> and that's strike three. All right, look. I'm not good with confrontations, and this is way harder than I thought. Luckily, Kelvin Ho from the operations team has some tips for me. What is the first thing that I say? I have no idea, man. Okay, well, you need two weapons. Weapons? Okay, the two weapons are the supporting document and the evidence. Ah. So firstly, you need to introduce yourself clearly. Then from there, we will explain to them about what is the case about, um, what if we face a, a debtor that is uh, refusing to cooperate, for example? So you talk the facts with them. From there, we calm them down. Mm. Okay? Any situation or difficulty you are facing, talk to us. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to give it one more shot. Yes, who are you? Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, <coughs> I am from uh, Singapore Debt Collection Service. Actually, we have a case of an outstanding debt of uh, $4,500 that you owe to my client. It's not company debt, what? I understand, but... Close uh, down already! You still can't inform me for what? Sir, no point you shout and scream at me. I can show that you have some evidence here. This is your signature. Okay, never mind. Don't disturb me, I'm sleeping. You, you go back first. At the end of the day, you cannot run away. Maybe you tell me your situation. If you cannot pay in full, I can give you an installment plan. See? You are following my step, alright? The two important weapons. Supporting document and the evidence. And you talk logic to me. These are the steps you pass. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Mm. I pass, I pass. This is only the first test. First test? Yes. Got more? Yes. Real life situation. Huh? Believe it or not, Kelvin is actually letting me handle a case. I am meeting with a potential client who wants to recover some scammed money. Eight months ago, the client tried to rent a car from a rental service on Carousel. The vendor, whom we shall call Alan, had
had good reviews and after a test drive, the client made payment for one month's car rental. But when he tried to collect the vehicle, things started going amiss. Hey, David. How's it going, man? How are you? Good. Thank How you so you? much. Appreciate it. Man. Come, come, come. Let's go. We are agreed a place to meet for the vehicle exchange. I got to the place, he did not show up and he did not pick up or respond to my messages. This went on for, uh, for a month where he was telling me, oh, I'll bring the car today. Never, never showed up. For one month? Yes, so I reached out to the police. The police at the time said there wasn't anything that they could do. The last straw for me reaching out to the police was he had actually threatened me and said, if you keep, you know, pestering me, something's going to happen to you. Oh, wow. Is this your first time engaging a debt collection service? Ah, uh, yes, correct. Yes, okay. correct. So I've never uh, had any prior experience. So it's something that I Googled and I feel a lot more relaxed knowing that it's something that's been taken off my plate. Um, okay. What kind of timeline are we looking at? If I had it my way, I'd find the funds back in my account tonight. <laughs> tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pressure is on. With the information at hand, Kelvin and his teammate Prince take me through the next steps. And now, it's time to confront the debtor. Call the debtor. Yeah, yeah, you go. Here's your yellow color phone camera. I'm really hoping Alan picks up and we can negotiate. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to track this guy down in person. All right, I call second time, huh? What is this, boss? Huh? I'm trying to contact the debtor, they are not responding. Huh? Is this a common problem? Are all the debtors this uncooperative? No, Rishi. There are still debtors who are cooperative. Oh. Would you like to meet one of them? Sure. Oh boy. Looks like I've got no choice but to track Alan down to his home. To prepare me for this, Kelvin has arranged a meetup with a former debtor so I can understand what it is like on the other side of the fence. Tay is currently repaying an $11,000 debt to his office landlord through installments negotiated by SDCS. What was it like when you were trying to deal with your creditors before SDCS got involved? It's difficult. Those creditors will not want to listen to you. Mm. They just want their money. Stress, I feel really stressed and they are unreasonable, yet we are in the wrong because we owe them money. And what happened when SDCS got involved? Uh, we feel a bit uh, worried and a little bit of terrified like, because we heard many stories about debt collectors. Uh, they are quite hostile. The collectors came to my shop, but I wasn't around. But they have been very polite to my staff. And then we arranged for an appointment to meet up. Uh, and, and the difference with uh, the team from SDCS coming in was? We have a conclusion in one hour time. I have been struggling with my creditor for six months, asking for repayment plans in installments. Hmm. They will say, uh, I don't care, you just pay me everything. So SCDS actually helped me to speak to the creditor hmm. on my behalf. That means to negotiate a sum of money that I can come up with every month. So I can clear this off with, in a peace of mind. So debt collectors are just negotiators the helpful middlemen. And yet many debtors avoid their calls and visits. So, one last stop for me. A visit to a debt counselling service to better understand the debtor's mindset. Perhaps this can help me convince my client's debtor to meet me. Most of them actually, they have the thought of, of uh, suicide. Uh. Even some already, uh, already, uh, already attempt suicide. Wong Ki Sun is a former loan shark runner who now uses his experience to counsel debtors. What kind of mental state are they in? They are very fearful. They are harassed by the loan shark, harassed by the money lender. They have no money to pay. The bank called them several times in the day. You know, they do not know what to do, then they don't even know who to turn to. What do you think is the best approach for debt collectors to take when they are talking to people who owe money? Talk to them and listen to them. Majority of people, you know, they are trying to pay, but maybe they need more time. So that, that's the reason why they are so stressed. To be more gentle, you talk to them. At least they can think, think properly. 
Let me have a chance to tell you. Tomorrow, we are going to pay the debtor, Alan, a house visit. In the meantime, I'm working off some of my anxiety. Up. Okay. Fight the pain. Fight the pain. Yeah, you need to gain, man. Yeah. Fight the pain. The guys tell me that working out together helps the team bond and also makes them stronger, both physically and mentally. Do you ever feel guilty sometimes that you have to make someone pay up? If you are a newcomer, yes, you will. It's normal. We used to feel that guiltiness, but after experience, we don't. Because we are like alarm clock for them. We mind them to pay. If you study the case, you understand what type of the debtor it is, right? what the case is about. So we give a fair solution, a solution that our client and debtor can agree when you tell your friends and family that you know, you're a debt collector, how do they see you? When they know that we are into this job, uh, their engagement with us is uh, a little bit different. So how do they treat you differently? They see me like uh, wrong impressions towards the job I'm doing. So that's where they keep distance from me. It's a risky job uh, for them. My friends and relatives all understand what I'm doing. Zero. The only people that who doesn't understand is those that don't know me. Actually, it's not as what public thinks. Uh. Yeah, you have to stand up for the victim, everything, you have to study case. Yeah. For me, I love this job because every day different challenging. You have to mentally prepare to join us as a debt recovery officer. I tell you what, let's do one more round. Come yeah, on, let's go on. Let's get ready for this. Let's go. After a few more training sessions, the day has finally come. I am now a badass recovery specialist. Let's do this. No shit. Uh, Roger, boss. No shit. With the debtor Alan not responding to our calls, we have to go to him, right to his doorstep. As we approached our destination, the weight of the task ahead began to set in. Before we go up. Okay. I just want to ask, what's the worst that can happen today? I mean, you know, you, you think the debtor will, will attack me? Oh, will he call the police? Okay. How am I going to deal with it? You have to keep calm and explain yourself. Oh. Show the documents to them and explain to them patiently. Okay. okay. And, and if they call the cops? If they call the cops, then you have to wait for the police to come. Then you have to explain to the police also. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Good luck. Thank you. Whew. I guess it's go time. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, actually, I'm looking for Mr. Not here. Not here. Who's Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Where is she? Oh, she's not here. 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 The children shouldn't have to see all this. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Hello, Uncle. Hi, Uncle. Okay. Okay, Uncle. So actually, I think uh, uh, he owe our client. Still got my sister. Never call me. Never. 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 
So uh, uncle, I think maybe what you can help me do now, uh, if you have his number, you help us call now. We can talk right now. They say you want to put call to him, call it out. So they say you want to put call him, call to him, call it out. You you don't mind? We call him now. We try to settle immediately, lah. Mm. Your feeling is that actually he don't want to settle. I mean, maybe the father is just coming up. Yeah, he's on the phone now. Huh? Never answer. Huh? Never answer. Yeah. You call, you call, you call. Yeah. And put on speaker. Right, the number. People, people call. Call? Yes. I don't hear answer. Huh? You hear that? Don't say I lie. Huh? Answer. Huh? Okay, uncle, you will help us. Huh? I also I, I don't know. like to come and disturb you. I don't like your kids see all these. Yeah, it's not nice. Like no answer. My client also about family. He also about to give back money to the people. His own, own people money must pay. Correct. Unless you, you cannot pay the. If cannot, if cannot, then he has to call us because we are acting on behalf of the client. Okay. Ah. I I know about your problems lah. Why don't why don't like this? Okay. Ah. You inform him. Ah. You ask him to come down to our office. Okay. Then we come up with an agreement. Ah. So you cannot pass the message to him. Okay. Tomorrow I call. Okay. That's great. That's Please uh, help help because uh, once you get him to come to us, then we can find ah, a solution. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Thank you. Uh. Thank you. Oh, Richie. Wow. This is a tough job, man. It make it very difficult to do anything when the family is there and the kids are looking at you with those big eyes. I guess we're trying to be firm but also uh, trying to be respectful. For, you know? So that's the hardest part. I know you guys are doing a very difficult job. Thank you. I know you're trying to do an honest job but it's very difficult. Wow. Can go down have a talk? Yeah, yeah, let's have okay. a chat. Let's have a chat. Post mortem of my my work. So Rishi, you have completed your task. I've uh, learned a lot in the time I've been with you also. Maybe uh, out of ten, how would you rate my uh, work performance? About six. Six out of ten, ah? Yes. Just pass ah. Yes. <laughs> uh, the certain things that the father say, like the son is not around, you have to you know, ask him for more proof. I guess, yeah, you're right. I totally got thrown off when I saw the whole family there. Yeah. And Which, you cannot be too emotional also. Yeah. Oh, man. You have to remember that you're a debt collector and you're helping your client get, getting back their hard-earned money. A lot of people don't know what it entails. And I guess I've uh, had some experience now. Does it get tiring for you? No. Tough job for tough guys. Like us. So I'm not a tough guy, I guess. Alright, so at the end of my stint with the Singapore Debt Collection Service, some things have become abundantly clear. One, this is not an illegal job. Two, this is not an easy job. And three, if you can get beyond the stigma surrounding this job, what you'll find is that these folks are just honest, hard-working folks trying to help their clients reclaim their hard-earned money. It's like Keegan said, it's a tough job for tough guys.